So today was RDC, and RDC is the Roblox Developer Conference in the USA. During the Roblox Developer Conference, David Bazuki decided to announce, or I guess predict what he thinks will happen in the next five years on Roblox. And David Bazuki, if you didn't know, is the CEO of Roblox, he pretty much owns Roblox. So yeah, the first prediction is, um, the president of the USA will mention his or her Roblox avatar on camera. I imagine Donald Trump just like, just like during one of his speeches just one day announces that he plays Roblox and what his Roblox avatar looks like and you know what his username is. I don't know if that will ever happen but that's what David Bazuki thinks. The next one, which is a lot more likely, is that a 100 person company will be developing on Roblox. So pretty much how like Jailbreak has a two person team, they think that somebody with 100 people helping them will one day be developing on Roblox and I do see that happening one day. The next prediction is that a Roblox developer will earn 50 million dollars in one year. That's probably the most likely prediction in this entire list because I'm pretty sure someone's already made like 25 million in one year so I definitely see in the next five years somebody being able to make 50 million in one year from Roblox. The next one is 50% of Roblox toys in the USA will have a Roblox scan tag, which I guess means a tag on it before you buy it, I have no idea. Or like, yeah, I'm not too sure where the one is, but I'm pretty sure that's mandatory for all items in stores, I, I, I don't know. If you know what this is, please tell me in the comments. The fifth prediction is 100,000 people will watch a Roblox live stream in 3D, and yeah, I definitely don't see that happening, because on their current live streams, they barely pull 200 viewers, and for them to have 100,000 viewers, was on a live stream. That's very unlikely in the next five years. The viewer base on Roblox just seems to be very not active because of all the other Roblox content creators that have better equipments that are more entertaining than them. I just don't see them pulling 100,000 viewers on one live stream. Considering that the top Roblox live streamers right now are only pulling like 5,000 viewers and that's like pretty much the best you can get on Roblox right now. So yeah, I don't see Roblox blowing up that much in the next five years. Over 50 million people will learn to code on Roblox, and yeah, I'd say that's pretty likely, but I don't think there's that many people that actually care about coding on Roblox. Most people like building, or most people just like playing the games. It's not like there's a massive audience wanting to learn how to code, because if you've looked at the games on Roblox, um, most of them aren't very well made. And considering that most people that play Roblox are young kids, I don't think it's going to get to the point that 50 million people will learn how to code on Roblox. A national movie launches based on a Roblox developer's game, story, or avatars. So pretty much this is saying that one day, there will probably be a jailbreak movie that you can go and see in cinemas. I really doubt it. The limitations of Roblox are just, I don't think someone would want to make a movie based on Roblox. Minecraft, yes, because it's, I'd say it's a lot more mainstream. It's a lot more dead than Roblox, but I'd say it's a lot more mainstream and it's not as embarrassing to make a movie about. A major brand releases a game to Roblox as their primary platform. So this is pretty much saying that one day Halo 7 maybe, or you know, GTA 7 will be released on Roblox, or you know, Minecraft 2. And again, the limitations of Roblox are just too high for like a AAA title, like a game development company, to even consider Roblox as their main platform. I know their logo is like, develop as much as you want, and the only limitations is your creativity, but that's just not the case. Uh, Roblox's limitations is just way too high. I'm not trying to bash Roblox, but that's the truth. There's just too many limitations on Roblox. 1 million concurrency in a Roblox game. So that's pretty much saying that one day a Roblox game will have 1 million players at one time. And I'd say that's possible, but yet again, I, I quite doubt it. Like, Jailbreak gets like 100,000 on good days, but to see a million people on that game, that'd be insane. But yet again, it, that, that's quite possible. And the 10th prediction is no country with more more than 50% of the top developers. So that's pretty much saying that Roblox wants everyone across the world to start developing games on Roblox. And they predict in the next five years that there's not gonna be a single country that doesn't have at least 50% of the top game developers in Roblox. I'm gonna come back to this video in five years and see if these are true or not. And yeah, peace. <laughs>